Hey everyone, welcome back. And in the previous video, we are uploading these image. Uh, we are uh, fixing this image issue, right? And uh, now the time is to uh, clear our database and these images too, and then we'll upload the product and then invisible. So HP artisan uh, migrate fresh. I'm executing the fresh with the seed. So before this, let me check that I have any seeder. So go to this resource seeders. Get the seeders. No, we don't have any seeders. So now I need uh, one seeder for administrator. I already told you that uh, why we not to uh, register the administrator for because these are the security issue. We will register the admin so anyone can register into the system and then uh, play around with uh, play around with our system. So that's why it's good practice to. Uh, or log in the user not the registered the user right so you can see the admin data here right so i'm going to create an admin account from this seeder so now first let's create the seeder command is ap artisan make seeder and what's the name of seeder i want to create the user seeder so that's where the suffix of seeder go here and here i'm going to do this like uh, user create and inside the create we'll use this like this so its name right so i'm going to define the as admin then what's next is uh, email right so administrator email should be the admin at cdlcell.com right and uh, then I need the. I don't want to add the timestamp. I will use this password here, and then this password would be the. Uh, first, let me encrypt this password using hash make, right? And in the Laravel time, you can also use the string, uh, where you can generate the 30, uh, 32 um, character by default, and you can specify its length. Uh, by 8 character 20 uh, uh, 30 or uh, 120 it's totally up to you so how many um, how many characters password you want so here i want to create the 128 right and uh, then i need the is admin column to check that if it's administrator or not so add this like this now this one this seeder is ready right so here one practice is to execute the seeder is php artisan um, uh, db seed right and then class equal user seeder right so whenever I hit enter so this seeder run method will be executed right but uh, the best practice is to uh, if you have uh, for now we have only one seeder right but in future we have multiple seeders right which are required to execute these seeders before uh, launching the product or sharing this product with uh, someone else or maybe you are deploying this on the server so you need to uh, uh, execute these seeders into the database seeder you need to add these seeders into the database seeders and uh, uh, with the one command you can execute all of the seeders otherwise you need to execute this one by one like you executed the user seeder then you need the uh, uh, country seeder like this you need to execute them manually like this right but i don't want to do this thing right that's why i'm going to call all the seeder at once so here start this call uh this call and inside the call you can run the user seeder and then class like this right so this will execute your seeder so now question comes that how we can execute the multiple seeders so it's very simple simply uh, cut this out and add an array symbol here and add your seeders like if you have multiple seeder country uh, seeder so you can add this so uh, like this and up to so on right so for now i have only one seeder so i'm going to add this one seeder here and then uh, how to execute this database seeder so there is command of php artisan db seed 
you don't need to specify the seeders anymore db seed and yes it says that user uh, seeder is executed right and if i go to the database users and yes admin at the top serial and yes this it's working fine okay so now i want to uh, drop all of my tables and recreate them why because i want to uh, i want to uh, remove all of the data and then i will upload each and everything so here there is a command of php artisan migrate uh, migrate fresh and for seeder you need to run this uh, php artisan db seed and your database will be seeded but to do this with the one command so what's the command command is php artisan migrate fresh and then add flag of seed so it will first to uh, migrate your database and then seed your uh, execute your seeders so hit enter database is running these are migrated and then seeded uh, also completed right if i go ahead and give it a refresh so this will be now empty and turning no products uploaded yet okay so here i'm going to upload uh, new products i downloaded some products images and then i'm going to upload to uh, upload these products and give their description and uh, title too okay so let me log in my user again it says that i'm not I so let me check that towards whether it's admin right it's admin at uh, one two three eight Login and yes, I'm logged in. And here I'm going to visit this uh, products. And here I'm going to let me open the images here. So, what are the images? I have downloaded some images makeup kit, laptop, camera, and like this. Right? So, first I'm going to upload this camera. Right? Uh, Canon camera. Okay, and then write here description so you can use this chat GPT to write the original description right so here I'm going to write a description about to Canon camera okay so this one is now generating the description so I will paste this description here yeah, basically I want to uh, feel this uh, like uh, as actual data right so that's why i choose this okay so here paste this so uh, oops why i name this label uh, i need to replace with the description right so first let me do this here uh, resources views admin uh, products in the products we have a create fleet and this contain the name right so this should be a description description points and it's like skirt here i'm going to add the 30 then choose an image so let me choose a camera image this one and submit this out it says image field must be type of png or jpg hmm. strange i choose the jpg right it would be the jpg no it's a jpeg right so let me uh, change its description so move to the create request to here products create request and here we need to assign this uh, another jpeg right so now it will accept this thing and here our data is isn't to uh, uh, distract because we are getting data back right so if you don't know how to store the data uh, in the form if you have any error so you can check out my previous video where i completely explain that how you can uh, pull the data and then uh, fill it again okay so here i'm going to choose this again submit this out and still say image must be type of png jpg and zip so it's already jpg oh so here you need to notice this thing uh, i uh, entered here a space so you don't need to add the space here otherwise it wouldn't work right so make sure this and do uh, i'm very sure that will work so here choose camera submit and it says truncated too long for description okay 
uh, our description is too long so now let's go here go to the uh, database migration and uh, products and here I made this tiny text right so if you have uh, a longer data in uh, this case I product contain a short data right so I uh, added this uh, very short to uh, a tiny text right so if you have long data so you can add uh, simple text or you can add here long text right so there is also medium text it's totally up to you that uh, you can do this so uh, through this one with your uh, scenario right you just refresh uh, canon camera and copy the description from here paste it again choose some uh, and then image uh, here camera and submit this out and yes now it says that product saved successfully right and uh, if i go here on the website yes this camera is there our product is there right so it means that uh, here it's not to uh, looks nice right so i need to update its card so let's close this one close this one and this one so here i'm not in the admin side i want to go to the uh, site index and here we are displaying this uh, property item right so basically i want to update this card right so i want to go to the getbootstrap.com which is the official website of bootstrap and here i want to pick some uh, card right dogs and right to uh, uh, cards not the dogs bootstrap card and this one is a uh, dog and this one and this one is also looks so let me insert this for the buttons come in this looks nice you can pick the above one so we will add the button here so this one after this description i can add the buttons right so in this case we have some buttons so i'm going to choose this out so let's copy this and do uh, uh, make this comment right for now and later on we will use we use this paste this out refresh it and you will refresh and yes looks so uh, fine we have uh, image is not visible because its path is not correct so now uh, let me uh, go to this and uh, check this and do uh, copy the information from this one so here i'm going to choose an image image have called image top okay we have this class so make sure to add this class otherwise so uh, it wouldn't become responsive so add this class here uh, add this before style for style and here is there any l any other class yes image fluid class right so let me remove this image fluid we can add this into the single one called title so let me copy the title it is a title this one is a product name right so now replace it with the card title okay and then description description is okay so now let's go here find the product description Oops, where it is next this one okay paste this out and now let's give it a refresh and test this and it looks like this so let me comment out the other part here this should be commented and refresh and yes looks nice and this should be uh, a little bit longer because our image is a uh, bit long right so here we need these uh, two button so let me uh, choose this and remove this from there and replace it with this one and remove the extra elements so save this one give it a try and yes looks uh, nice and uh, now the thing is we need to uh, align them into the one line right into the single line live preview and uh, no we uh, uh, don't have live preview we have only uh, by now button right 
I'm going to remove the other one buy now button after this uh, clicking on this buy now button so user can purchase the product right so I will later on I will add the page or a pop-up where user can purchase uh, uh, these products right so here we have a product button image and uh, now let's increase this uh, width right so it will be uh, 24 maybe refresh it and uh, no 26 million yes uh, but our image width is now I want to make this 25 yes 25 is totally fit right and here displaying this uh, con I don't know why it's displaying this out so let me check this out yes it is playing with this image right I'll give it a refresh and yes it looks nice right so our product looks nice so let me upload another product here so login and here we need also a uh, button but uh, I do I didn't edit this button because it's so uh, uh, not good to uh, as uh, someone gets this login and attempt, attempt some login attempts right so it's a good way to hide the URL of administrator right so it's more secure okay so here we have uh, a dashboard and in the dashboard here what are the other oh it's uh, I think admin slash dashboard yes that's this one and uh, here uh, let me go back if I visit this uh, login, so it's redirecting me on the user home page, right? Either uh, uh, I am an administrator, right? So it's not good thing. So it should be redirected on the administrator page, not the user page. We will also fix this out. So let me uh, complete the tutorial. Okay, <sighs> sorry. So let me complete the tutorial. Create product here. Uh, another is. Uh, uh, HP light this is this one is my old laptop model and now I'm using the PC right and uh, here let's uh, write some description write to uh, description about uh, laptop so here I will copy this out and paste this into the product description okay yes enough enough is you know that's enough stop chat gpt okay paste it out here looks fine user can also scroll this or even they can also make this larger right can points would be the uh, this would be a little bit expensive because this one is a laptop okay and uh, here i'm going to choose a laptop image it's a jpg it will be uploaded and yes product saved successfully right I go to the Laravel site and here this one is look like this right but it's not looks uh, what we want so uh, I will fix the issue and then coming back okay so here we are facing this issue so let me fix this issue here this one is not occupying the proper width right so this one is uh, isn't fit in proper column right so i want to divide it into the four column so i want to display the three products uh, uh, four 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 right i want to display the three products in the one line so you can display the four products even right so let's uh, cut this out and add a div call uh, md uh call four right and paste this out to the refresh and yes it looks like this right and you can also restrict this description right so it should uh, it should display in the two line or three lines even uh, when it's uh, display in the two line right so even uh, when you have this description should be a uh, shorter in the one line so this uh, uh, this should be also take the same space right so this wouldn't break break this uh, card view right so that's uh, is our main thing and uh, here uh, now let me uh, here i have added this out so let me increase some to 60 fresh and yes now both are looks fine and uh, there is a uh, uh, wide space let me make this three for now uh, looks good uh no four looks so uh, right 
refresh and yes okay and uh, then i want to add uh, another product this is out so login this uh, go to the admin slash dashboard product and here i'm going to upload another product so now what's the another product it's a lipstick uh, or this should be a uh, mega kit but this one is uh, containing the web.tp file so we are not accepting this one so what should be the next laravel expert uh, hotel education eight. okay product uh, product images right so i said this like this so you can download products so go to the unsplash and here i'm going to download this watch right so click on this so save image uh, this would be the watch and remember this would be avif right so this should be also allowed in the create request right here so you need to add this so avif right and make sure to remove this space otherwise it wouldn't work so now let's go back uh, this should be the uh, wrist watch you can say that um, as far as i don't know what's the spelling of wrist so i had this as uh, watch uh, and and watch description okay it says contact us our supporting hand watch okay let's give it a refresh something went wrong okay uh, right description and watch description um, description just write this it will work okay hand watch also known as wrist watch it's good our spelling out correct and let me copy this out from there yes i'm copying this out paste this out it should be 10 and here let's choose this watch go to the download there's a watch I don't uh, I think it should be the latest one no uh, it's downloaded somewhere else okay so just go and click on this so save button let's go to the download and make this watch hit enter and yes so now let's go here and choose this from the downloads submit this out and uh, image must be an image uh why it's so uh, not to upload it so let me check the it's so uh, a b i f a b uh i think a b i is not considered as an image so that's why so let me insert this for the png image right so let's choose this out to save this one sean what are you doing I don't know. Okay, save image and then make this uh, what's the image? This would be your phone. Okay, hit enter and let's uh, choose this out to boom, submit this out. And yes, and we uh, still get the same description for your phone. And yes, we are now displaying these earphone so close this lens and these are displaying perfectly right uh, here now these are looks uh, more nice and user can click on this buy now button and uh, buy uh, this product using the points right and we will cover the next stuff in the and that how user can refer the other user and how user can purchase the mm, purchase the product from this website right so i will do this in the next video and if you like this video subscribe to this video and i will meet you in the next one bye bye